If you have allowed the Israeli slaughter of the Palestinian people to become background noise, wake the fuck up. This is a genocide. It is happening before the eyes of the whole world. It is funded and armed by the U.S., and it is intensifying by the day. Not only has Israel continued to bomb Gaza back to the dark ages with American bought bombs murdering over 40 people just in the last 24 hours, including a prominent doctor, but in the West Bank, Israel has bulldozed 70% of the roads in the city of Janine. Think about that. How are people supposed to get anywhere? How are they supposed to travel to and from the hospitals amid the sniper fire and the destruction? Israel's destroyed the sewage systems, the internet access, and 80% of the water system. People can't get food, they can't get water, and that's just in Janine. Last week, Israel launched a ferocious and a deadly rampage in two other cities in the occupied West Bank, which is home to over three million Palestinians. Hundreds of Israeli soldiers in columns of armored vehicles and bulldozers backed by drones and warplanes have killed at least 33 people in the West Bank, including seven children. Israel is ordering mass evacuations from areas that it is shooting and then shooting many of those who attempt to flee. They are targeting journalists. They are targeting children. In Tukaram, snipers killed a 14-year-old boy walking with his father. They shot him in the neck from a distance and he was unarmed. His father was shot in the waist. Dozens and dozens of Palestinians have been arrested, subjected to torture and indefinite detention. Israel is destroying the basic ability for people to survive, attempting to purge Palestinian people from the land entirely. And despite the gentle finger wags and the tis tis tisks coming from genocide Joe Biden and war crimes backing Kamala Harris, the arms and the financial support to Israel has not stopped flowing. In her first interview since she was anointed Democratic nominee for president, Vice President Kamala Harris made her position very clear. Uh, let me be very clear. I am unequivocal and, and unwavering in my commitment to Israel's defense and its ability to defend itself. And that's not going to change. But let's take a step back. October 7, 1,200 people were massacred many young people who were simply attending a music festival. Women were horribly raped. As I said then, I say today, Israel had a right, has a right to defend itself, we would. And how it does so matters. Far too many innocent Palestinians have been killed. And we have got to get a deal done. We, we were in Doha. We have to get a deal done. This war must end. But no change in policy in terms of arms and, and so forth. No, I, we have to get a deal done. So let's dispense with Kamala's bullshit. This is not a war. It is genocidal ethnic cleansing. And when she says Israel's right to defend itself, what she means is free license to carry out this genocidal ethnic cleansing. Since early in Israel's genocidal response to October 7th, it is Israel that has stonewalled a ceasefire, while the U.S. provides billions after billions of dollars for bombs and missiles and diplomatic cover for Israel by blaming Hamas for lack of ceasefire progress. Look, the situation, did not, it, the situation in Palestine did not begin on October 7th. It began in 1948 with the Nakba, Israel's terrorist ethnic cleansing of Palestine, and Israeli violence has continued ever since to defend an apartheid state state built literally on the blood and the bones and the land of the Palestinian people. Listen to what Kamala Harris is telling you. No change in policy in terms of arms and, and so forth. No, I, we have to get a deal done. No, no change in the handoff from genocide Joe to war crimes Kamala. No change in the bombs, the missiles, the drones in Gaza and the West Bank. No change in the never-ending diplomatic whitewash. No change in the dehumanization and enabling genocide against the Palestinian people. Wake the fuck up. Act to stop this and confront the reality. 
This is the cold truth, the liberating truth behind what Bob Avakian says in his recent dispatch, Revolution Number 79. The price for supporting the Democrats is to become complicit in their backing of Israel in its genocidal slaughter of Palestinians and the other monstrous crimes continually perpetrated by this system, a price that no decent person should be willing to pay. Enlisting in the cause of the Democratic Party is enlisting as willing accomplices in the crusade of U.S. capitalism imperialism to remain the world's number one exploiter, oppressor, and plunder of people and the environment, even at the cost of risking the future and the very existence of humanity. There has to be a better way, and there is, revolution to overthrow this truly monstrous system of capitalism imperialism and bring into being a fundamentally different and much better system and way of life in the interest of humanity as a whole. 